Poland Around My Happy Home by Daniel Nordgren. Um, it's in G, so I'm using a capo on the third fret. Live, he uh, often plays it in, uh, or almost always plays it in A, so with a capo on the fifth fret, just so you know. And he varies in how fast he plays the song, sometimes kind of rather slowly. Um, well, for example, the album version is is faster and I will stick for now to this one. So I will first play, play a little bit and then I will show you how you play it. So it's it's in a G and it stays in G minor throughout the whole song. He uh, keeps playing the E string all the time. Um, just to make sure, like I just did a little bit of slamming, slamming riff. He does not do that. He has his drums, like he's uh, playing playing the drums with the feet. So um, it's just something I like to do, but I will say something about it later. So first the riff. Well, it's a uh, kind of simple riff in the sense that it stays the same the old song. Um, it's a picking riff, so you have to use your thumb and two, um, two, uh, one or two more fingers. And the thumb keeps playing the E string all the time. Just like this. And then the other, uh, and at the same time you're playing like a small, you are playing a small riff, um, which I will show you now. First without the E string, so it goes like this. Two, two parts. It starts on the D string, the second or the fifth thread, then the eighth, eighth thread. You can also do it by playing the empty E string, a G string. Doesn't matter. I prefer doing it here. And then. on the A string, uh, small hammering on, then empty D string, 
the E string on the sixth fret. to the 8th and the 10th fret and just play quite easy but it's uh, it's including a, a hammering on and a pull off so first pull off and then hammering on yeah pull off and hammering on so you just play the, the string once Last one, the fourth, the fourth one. You add a hammering on before you do the pull off. So, yeah. Yeah. so hammering on, pulling, pulling off, and hammering on again. Oh no, just, just hammering on and pull off. Yeah. So. together yeah, if you know how to do that you only have to combine it then with a bass note which which is someplace this is kind of maybe the most difficult part to combine it um, yeah because then you get a more complex picking pattern which goes like this that you just like have to remember that you that the sum plays the E string constantly then you just have to figure out at which parts you have to combine playing off the sum with the other fingers actually you just have to use I think one or two more fingers like you can just do it like this yeah maybe here you can add the same finger play the first part of the riff of the, so of this, this part of the riff both strings so E string and D string together and then additionally uh, the E string once more and remember that you use a pull off and a herring on so you just have to play each time you just have to play the D string once So together it's some additional things that you can play um, oh first wait so when the vo vocals um, set in then you uh, play the first part of the riff Holy. I think you 
it as very simply, you're just playing the bass note and the octave on the D string. So this two together. And those two together. And then you just can play them as you would with a thumb or with a thumb. And it doesn't matter if you play also the open the open other strings, it sounds nice. So holy additional stuff like he also plays some solos and so on there are two maybe not essential ones but two that I hear coming back frequently in this how he plays it live is that you, when you do the second part of the riff yeah, then he sometimes adds an octave to the part to those notes on the B string yeah so this is the same note as this one but just one octave higher um, so those two together, oh sorry, the guitar is a little bit of out of tune, doesn't matter. So those two together, uh, 10th fret and 13th fret, and those two together, so 8th fret and uh, 11th fret. And then you use slide to combine them. you have to play them with um, because the sum is still playing the E string right you have to use two other fingers for example those two He's, I think, often does is uh, the end of the riff, doing that. Yeah. So if you also want to do the percussion yourself with the guitar, um, you can use like a slamming riff. Uh, I like to do this because yeah, I'm playing on my own. I don't have a drum of a drum uh, for my feet and so on. So I try to do like the hi hat actually as a song with my right hand, which makes it more difficult the picking pattern, but it's I think worth trying it. So it means that you always slam on the second beat. So. have to figure out how to combine it with the riff which is not that easy but it can work I will do it slow now tip uh, don't forget to keep playing the E string when you slam yeah so actually if you slam and at the same time play a note which is difficult but if you practice it you can uh, figure that out so. Uh, the verse is also fun enough without the slamming and just keep picking
making. And just says Daniel Nogren, Nogren does, it's, also, it's always fun to add some little bit variation yourself or do some improvising and so on. So I hope you enjoy playing the song. Um, let me know in the comments whether something's not clear enough. Uh, maybe I can do a second. Yeah, I don't feel like doing a second video, but maybe I can help you out. Uh, and on my channel, you also can find two other poems by Daniel Norgren. Thank you. <laughs>